Hi, this is Hand Stamp by Cheryl with my next video in my series of craft storage and organization videos. This video will focus on my embossing and cutting tools. The main tool I use, which is usually on my desk, is my Big Shot. This is a must-have tool for card makers since it dry embosses and cuts. It costs $99, but there is a way to get this tool for 40% off, so contact me if you're interested to know more. When it is not in use, it is stored in this caddy here. It's a black Creative Memories case which zips up and has handles to make it easy to travel. Down below is my textured boutique. The only reason to really have this tool is if you don't have the Big Shot or you want a smaller, more portable option for embossing. And this tool is only $30. Up above here, are my embossing folders and my dies. They are stored in these little carry-all cases from 31. I love how the dies just fit in here perfectly. And then as you see here in the front, there's like this little pocket that's perfect for storing my embosslets, which are just little, little plates that are used for cutting. So the other, the other caddy here has all of my embossing folders and these just add texture to the front of a card and I have them organized here by current Stampin' Up, retired Stampin' Up, and non Stampin' Up folders and I just made some handmade dividers using some cardboard but um, the front I here I use to store the little folders that just fit in there perfectly they both have handles so if you wanted to carry them that way and then 31 also uh, carries a bigger bag that holds two of these side by side which would make it perfect for transporting to like crops or weekend events. So over to the right of my Big Shot is my system for storing, storing all my framelits. These are what you use to cut um, on your Big Shot. I have a post on my blog about how I set up this magnet storage system so I will put the link to that post below in the comments. But this is really great because I've got it stretching from the ceiling all the way down to the floor and it just makes it so much easier to grab the framelit that I need to cut out on my Big Shot. Now I still keep the original case as you can see here but it was just so cumbersome to try and get out the case and then open it up and pull out the right framelit and then put it back. So I still keep them just in case I want to go to a weekend retreat or something. I put them the framelits back in the original case and take that with me or in case I decide to sell something because some are retiring for example these word bubble framelits which I love they just um, are getting ready to retire here in the next month so anyhow I hope that you have enjoyed this video and you are inspired to either try out the Big Shot or the Textured Boutique here or just have some new ideas for how to store all of your tools thanks for checking out Hand Stamp by Cheryl